So why the need for the intro montage video? Is it just to show how badass America is? I mean, during the entire thing, I just wanted this song to pop up. I am I'm just saying, it felt a little bit unnecessary, but let's get to the review. You are never out of the fight. Just for one day. So the plot, Mark Wahlberg, Emil Hirsch, Ben Foster, and Taylor Kish, Krish, Riggins get trapped behind enemy lines and every waking minute is this them trying to fight for survival. That's it. I mean, they're trying to get out of there alive. Best synopsis ever. So right off the back, I want to say that Peter Berg has redeemed himself for the crap that was Battleship. Yes, the guy that directed this is the guy that directed Battleship and they are completely different movies. This just brings to light that the rumors about that he had to make Battleship in order to make this passion project just a little bit more true. Doesn't seem like he had a lot of passion for Battleship. I'm just saying. What really helps elevate this movie is the fact that all the actors seem to be giving it their all. They're all really just giving their A game. I mean, hell, Taylor Krish and Emil Hirsch haven't really done anything in a long time or anything really good. And here they show that they each have potential and they're still great. Maybe it means that all of these guys Besides Mark Wahlberg, need to be secondary actors because when these this cast, all of the actors just, you relate to all of them, you believe all of them, you feel their pain. I mean, it's just that kind of movie. The movie really seems to breeze by. It never really dragged for me, so I'm not sure if that's a good sign or a bad sign. I mean, you want to talk about a movie that shows American soldiers just getting completely fucked up? That is this movie. These guys are getting shot at everywhere. I mean, they're taking bullets, their limbs. I mean, they're getting messed up, falling off mountain like six times. I mean... They are getting messed up here, guys. Like, holy shit. Now, I do want to say that the ending was kind of odd. It didn't really fit for me. I mean, just kind of felt rushed and didn't make a lot of sense. And also, some of the scenes were really edited really poorly. And I don't know if that was meant to be like that, but some of the scenes were just, eh, edited to Peter Berg. You're better than this. I mean, the way this movie demonstrates the reality of the situation that was happening here and how, in real life, help doesn't always get there in time. Damn, that was a messed up scene. But yeah, help doesn't always get there in time. It's just kind of, it's reality. And that's what I really liked about this film is the fact that it felt real all the way through. Um, There were some minor hiccups here and there, like the beginning didn't feel the need. The ending was kind of meh. And some of the editing during scenes were just kind of, mm, again. I mean, overall, the movie was just a great movie to watch. I mean, I was glued to my seat. I knew what was going to happen, but I just, I felt like I was rooting for these guys. I mean, you're almost rooting like... Each one of the people I was with was rooting for another guy to like die last, and it, I know that's weird, but you just really care about certain characters. Some are more relatable than others. I mean, they just all really give their all here, and it's just nice to see all these guys kind of elevate their game for this film. I mean, pay like homage and honor to the soldiers and everything, and they all really gave their A game. So for those reasons, I have to give um, Lone Survivor a 3.5 out of 5. It's not going to get any higher than that just because of the ending in the beginning and some of the editing problems, but the movie is really good. It cracked into my top 20 films of the year, so definitely worth watching. Uh, so yeah, you, should, you guys should definitely check it out, and I don't know, make sure you guys, I don't know, just check out the movie, I guess. I don't know what else to say. Is there anything else to say? Uh, I don't know. All right, guys, so hopefully you guys liked my uh, Lone Survivor review, and hopefully you guys can actually subscribe to the channel, like this video, comment below, and if you're interested, uh, check out the podcast, which is going to be on one of these two sides. Uh, check out one of my previous reviews, which I believe was uh, Paranormal Activity, um, and check out this new thing that me and my a couple of my friends are doing called Versus, where we put movies up against each other using flickchart.com and just have fun with it, so yeah. I think that's all I got to say. Oh, and check out geek.nation.com. Um, I don't know. We're having fun with that, doing some good things, and some big things are coming for us. So definitely go check out geek.nation.com. I don't know. If you want. Nah, not even if you want. Go check it out. See you guys later.